हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड प्रेस बिगिनर कोर्स एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू इफ़ यू आर एनरोलिंग माय कोर्स एंड व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी आर लर्निंग इन दिस कोर्स सो द फर्स्ट थिंग वी आर लर्निंग दैट वी लर्न हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड द वेबसाइट विदाउट द कोडिंग इट इज़ वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड ट्यूटोरियल दैट आई हैव मेड इट फॉर यू यू कैन ईजिली ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप एंड मेक वेबसाइट्स वी learn about so many thing like hosting domain and all the cloud flare and so much thing is having in this tutorial and i make sure that you go and learn everything and very detailedly in this course so make sure you like this course thank you once you go on the google after that you have to search lean domain name search you have to enter this and click on search here you can check your all the domain names that you have to use for your website here you can add the keywords and this website suggest you domain names that are unused and you can simply buy that domain and make website on this so here i can you can type anything like that search for example we type tiki which are the domain names are available from tiki so you can check out this tech city project tiki here you can check it here you can check out that there is so many domain names that available with the word of tiki so you can choose that okay after that you can buy you have to choose this domain name after that, you can go some website like namecheap.com go daddy these websites are domain registrar here you can add your domain and simply you can buy the domain name okay second thing we have to need that is hosting here we can put our website data and get our website live so why i suggest hosting it it is cheaper than the other competitors the second things the speed is very fast and the service is also good from the hosting guard and it is easy to use h panel for the beginners okay so the starting you have to do with the shared web hosting you can go with the shared web hosting after that you are enough to make the website or you have get so many traffic so you can switch on the cloud hosting and various vps hosting also in the shared hosting you have get so many things like shared sing shared web single shared hosting premium shared hosting and business shared hosting you have to go with the most popular this premium shared web hosting because it is very good and uh, it's a great value if you buy this premium shared hosting you get a free dot com domain and you can simply uh, save your money on the dot com domain you have to go on the google and search for pitnami for wordpress the first link come here and click on this so you have to click on the on my computer and here is option window mac and linux on windows here you can sign in and download the bitnami for what for computer after the downloading you get this software double click on it you get a pop up window click on s yes.
click on ok select your language then click on ok you have to click on next you have to select both the things you don't have to uncheck this thing so we check all those things and click on next select your drive to install the bitnami in your computer after that you have to click on next select your username that is a username which can be used as your law as you admin but it is not your login so i have done that here you have to add your email id that can be accessed for the your website locally so i add here you to add the login user name you have to add the password name the your block after that click on next okay you have to uncheck this mark because do not check it click on next okay click on next it's come pop up window but you have to go back and click on next it takes time for installation so do not worry about that once the installation finish you have to click on this and okay so so you have to click on access wordpress so here you can see that the wordpress is now stopped so access the admin panel you have to click on url and type wp hyphen admin so you are able to sign in so we have to enter username and password that we have created here the dashboard you can see that we have successfully installed the wordpress locally we can see that we have successfully installed the wordpress locally you can control the all the plugins themes you can control the, all the things posts pages and everything from this dashboard if you buy the hosting and domain the next step is how to connect your domain with your hosting so the step is very easy so you don't have to worry about that we are going to very in detail video so first thing that is if your domain name and hosting have in a one account uh, for example if you buy the hosting from the hostinger and domain also buy from the hostinger there is no need to connect the domain with the hosting okay but you have buy the hosting from the different from example i will say that if the hosting is buy from hostinger and the your domain name is on the godaddy then how you can connect that each other so once you buy the hosting the one thing that you have to done is here uh, you can see that add a website we click on this so here we have to add our domain name that you have purchase i have done it and i click here to add so here we can see that it's add successfully but one thing that i will remember you that if you open the domain 
it is a park page on the GoDaddy means it is not on the name server is not pointing on the hosting or so we will done it very quickly so the first thing that we have to do is after that the domain name you have to click on the manage so scroll down and here you can get the accounts details we click here here we can get the name servers we have to copy the first name servers here you can see that the domain status not pointing on the name servers because we are not not pointing so you have to done uh, so you have to copy the first name server go to your domain name registrar for example i have buy the domain name from the godaddy so i come here and you have to click on the dns every domain register have option on the dns so you have to click after that so we are wait okay so you have to scroll down and here you can see that the name servers okay so we have to click on the change enter my own name servers click here and the we have to paste the name server that we copied copy okay ns1 dns parking.com and we go to the second name server and copy and paste here okay once the paste here you are you have to click on the save button okay click on a yes and continue okay you can see that the name service has been updated but i will say that it is not uh, connect very quickly because it takes time to update okay so how we can see that if the name server is connected or not successfully so you have to type that name server lookups lookup so you have to click this website that is who is dot domain tools dot com so enter your url that so so you can see that the page is coming so we have noticed that the name servers ns1 dns parking.com ns2 dns parking.com has been connected very successfully so uh, what do we do now we install the wordpress on this so on the hosting account you have to scroll down and search for like a auto installer click on this okay you have to scroll down and search for wordpress click on this you have to scroll down and click on the wordpress you have to enter choose your domain name that already has been taken and you have to click on this over at existing files and you have, you have to enter your details like admin username admin password admin email id and add a website title that are mandatory so i done it and after that once you done with the, all the things you have to click on the install button so our domain name our the wordpress is successfully installed on the word on your web domain name so how we can visit that so you have to type that your domain name like uh, i have this domain name airportal.com and you have to uh, click 
after that you have to you have to type your domain name like that i have aio 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 portal okay dot com after that you have to click uh, you have to type the forward slash okay you have to then you have to type wp hyphen admin and click here okay if the page is loading uh, sometimes it may be not loading because of the we are done with the dns record and what happen is it's collect the cookies and uh, the website is not load so in this that case after that you doing these all the things then also is not coming website is so what you have to do that you have to type chrome colon forward slash slash you have to type net minus internals okay and click on this and you got this section like dns and clear host cache and it is a cache that may be problem of your website that may be your problem of your website that not coming so uh, once we got land on our website so how to go your admin panel so click on that link and you have to type forward slash wp hyphen admin so after that you have to type the password and username and password that we have entered the previously in your video like as you can see that we are successfully enter in our website so you can see that we got all the things and i will explain you how all the things work so you can see that in the left hand side that there is dashboard section and you can see that there is so many notification we are close all these because it is not important for us okay you got the update section in the update section you got the updates of theme plugin or wordpress updates that's coming in the future okay so here we can click all the things and update so there is a post section means you can write the post like blog post or blog from this and there is media section that's contain the images and so all things and this is the pages section that we create pages and like privacy policy privacy policy about us contact us pages that we can create from this and there is a comment section that uh, you show that the comments that who is commenting on your video or who is commenting on your blog post or not there is a, a plugin that from the wp form and it is a pre-installed plugin from the i will say hostinger because we don't install and there is appearance sections in the appearance we can we got the themes customized widgets menu background theme editor in the plugin section so uh, if you install the fresh if you install the wordpress then you have to go on the plugin because there are some plugin that may not important for us they are only installed like uh, anti-spam click on this click on this you can simply cl uh, click on the delete button and it will delete it but if you have to delete the two or three plugins more than one so what you have to do is select the plugin then click on the bulk action and click uh, delete button and click here apply okay so all the things is successfully deleted one click and it is very fast and very useful features so in the user section you you can add uh, users like if you someone can also handle the wordpress uh, you can do that you can create email id and password and give that person and he can also access your admin panel we can done from here there is tool option okay 
and there is all in one WP migration like that is plugin for migration okay and there is setting section and we will see see that later and there is light spill cache what is the cache plugin it's from the if you install the hosting there if you install the wordpress from the hosting there you can get the pre-installed and it is used for like making cdn page optimization image, image optimization and it is a cache plugin but we are don't use this we are using the cloudflare and all the things are very easy to handle from the cloudflare so how to we can connect your cloudflare to the hosting what is a cloudflare cloudflare is a mediator of your hosting and your domain name it helps to doing it helps to protect your hosting someone i will say that if someone attack your website but he cannot reach the name servers because the name servers will change from your hosting the name server to cloudflare name servers and hacker cannot able to hack your website because they don't hacker do not know where the hosting is from so it is uh, very useful and we can update the dns record from the cloudflare because we can add the multiple website and we do not have to search all the things like uh, where we purchase the domain for this particular website so you don't have to worry about that you have to put all the things on the cloudflare and here you can easily can update your dns record and you can change your name servers if the if you change the hosting in the future then you don't have to wait for the 48 hours for the changing the name servers from the all the world so you have to simply go and go to the cloudflare and click on the change the name service it will change in the one second because it's very easy and very fast I, I highly recommend to use the cloudflare it is make we can make the cdn and uh, all the things like um, ca and what happen if the, your server is down then what happen is the if the visitor come on your website it uh, cannot get uh, so many time delay for loading the website it's load fast and and uh, if your server is down for some time the page is also shown by the cloudflare so it is mandatory i will say that so how you can install the cloudflare on your domain name so we can face only one this problem like you will see that if i open the domain name that we have created it calls say that it, no, not secure because we don't have a ssl certificate we will learn also this and fix this error okay so how to do that so you have to go on the google and search for cloudflare you can sign up here and uh, i have already account so i do not sign up i am um, click on the login So I can see that I have already account so I I have already a website so I click here to add a site example that is our AI portal dot com we have to click on the free plan is more than enough for a beginner and the mediator also because it's uh, it's provided so many things so confirm plan you have to go back your overview section you have to scroll down and you can see that you have to remove this name servers from and replace this name servers so we have to done that so you will go your domain name provider
you have to click on the DNS record DNS so you have to click uh, you have to scroll down and you have, you have to change the name server because the if the user come on your website they do, does not know the way, which hosting that you have used so we have to click on the first name server copy paste here copy second name server and paste here and click on the save button you have to click on this and click continue so now we check that if the name server is connected with our cloudflare is connected with the host domain or not so once we do like name servers or i name servers lookup and click on the who is dot domain tools dot com the website is very great and i will recommend that for check your things we click on the ai portal dot com and click on search you have to scroll down and you can see that it is also pointing on dns1 parking.com dns2 parking.com means the name server is not updated so it will take time so do you do not worry about that okay so you have to click on the recheck now your portal is now queued to be rechecked please check back in a few hours we will also notify email once your site become active so it will take time so you don't have to worry about it, it will take time so you don't have to worry we have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes or it takes more than 15 minutes so once all the dns is record is updated on the server you will your website is live so here you can see that the Cloudflare is now protecting your site means our Cloudflare is successfully connected with your hosting and domain and it is a mediator now so the first thing that we have to do that so the next thing is how you can install the SSL certificate on your domain name as you can see that the this is not secure and how we can install this so you have to go on the hosting account and you have to scroll down and you have to search for SSL. We got here and click on this. Here, the domain name is here, and the certificate and the private key. Where we can get the, the, these those things? So you have to go on the Cloudflare, and you have to go on the SSL TLS. So if you go on the SSL TLSS, you got this thing, but you have to clip on the flexible. Do not clip on the full because it is uh, uh, not properly working on the full. So you have to select the flexible option. It is important. So after that, uh, you done the, all the things. You have to um, install the. We have to install the SSL certificate. So you have to click on the origin server. You have to create certificate. Here you can see that the domain name is coming, but we have to you have to only this option that is airportal.com. You have don't have to select another option because this is our domain name and you have to click on 15 years and click on next. Okay, we got the origin certificate here and we have to copy the first block as you copy copy from the end certificate and copy it and go to your hosting account and as we can see that the certificate okay we paste the here and we now go to the cloudflare and we copy the second one okay copy that go to your hosting and paste here and you have to leave this you have to leave this column because it is not necessary necessary for us and click on the install 
and you have to go and okay click on the okay 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 you can see that AI portal is now connected with the cloudflare but you have to one thing that you have to do is you have to click on this the force https when someone come on the http it's utterly read i have to https and that is very important for us okay okay then we have to add sign in our admin panel go to your admin panel so you have to click on the plugin section and you have to click on add new you have to type that really and you can see that it's got the this uh, this is ssl that is important for us and click on install now click here to activate so you have to get this pop-up window like uh, go ahead activate as well we have to click on this so you have to scroll down and you can see that we have to three one three one to redirect so you have to click on the uh, there is another option like enable you have to click on the enable option and you have to scroll down and you can see the enable three one redirect click on this and scroll down and click here to save okay all the things has been done and now we can check that if our website is open with the HTTPS or not ok you can see that we have successfully installed the SSL certificate on your wordpress site for free so if we open like without HTTP HTTPS you can see that it's also redirect to HTTP to HTTPS means it is uh, if someone open our domain with HTTP we do not have to open the domain with the HTTP it must be redirect to HTTP to HTTPS and it's make uh, your website secure so we have done it how you can increase your website speed and make the CDN and how to create the domain name and how to connect with the domain name with the cloud player all the things we learn go here like a caching section and you have to click on the configuration so how to you can get this option like purge cache means you can collect all the cache and uh, now we have to click on the purge everything and we are the click click here you can say that they successfully purge assets so all the things has done and we have to collect all the purge cache so after that uh, the next thing we have to do is how to make a the next thing is how we can make a subdomain okay you have to go on the hosting account so the second thing is how you can make a subdomain and connect with your cloud player so uh, first of all you have to go your hosting account that that we have this the domain name so you have to scroll down and you got a section like domains okay there is a one option that is a subdomains we have to click on that okay you have to create the subdomain if you don't know what is a subdomain i will say that if uh, there is an extension before your domain name example like uh, i will create here demo but then the domain name is demo.aiportal.com this is your subdomain and one thing that you have to remember that you have to check this 
box okay and uh, give it a name like i will give the name like demo okay you have to you have to uncheck this mark you don't have to click on that you have to click on the custom name a custom folder for subdomain because you have installed if you install the wordpress then the files may the files go on the demo folder and that is very important for us and we click on the create okay the domain name is created subdomain name if we open as we can see that it is can't be reached because the reason is ip address not found and how we can connect that so so go to your cloudflare section and you have to go on the cloudflare account and you have to go on the dns okay we have to click here add record okay we have to add the a record name that we use that is demo okay pointing on this ip address because the ip address of cloudflare is we are now using the cloudflare okay so the ip address we have to use is the 156.6722.8 that is that's uh, where you can get that you can get on the a type like this you can see that okay so you have to type the ip address because we do the our domain is not connected with any site and we have to add a dns record so what happen is the domain name is pointing to our cloudflare okay we have to click on the save button so once it done we refresh it okay as we can see that your account has been created demo a portal okay 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 blah 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 and we go on the dashboard yeah so if you want to install the wordpress on that the subdomain how we can how we can do that so we have to scroll down and search for the auto installer okay and here you have to click on the wordpress and all the things okay, you have to click on the wordpress and you have to choose a domain name like you can see that we got the domain name like demo.aiportal.com so here you can and you can fill the all the things like username password title and all the things and click here install and the domain name is successful sorry the wordpress is successful install on your domain name so it is a very easy process and i hope you guys you uh, do that all the things so now we create a blog for free using the free themes and free plugins so how we can do that and all the setup is available here so the first thing that you have to do is you have to blow uh, you have to go on the appearance section and there is a theme option you have to click on that so okay there is a theme already available here but we are deleting this we are because we don't need it okay we are going to delete and you can add new there are so many options as ocean wp astra and generate space but generate space is a paid version but in this today we are going to use the astra theme because the astra i like most okay this is the astra theme and we click here install so the theme is activated we are click here okay leave activate okay we got the activation complete and here you have to go on the extra option here appearance section you got this option like extra click here you have to click on the import install import plugin we click on this also once that done is you have to click on the elementor 
because the viewer builder and other things is not so good we have to click on the element art okay and but we don't install the element art so the templates is ready made available but uh, first we have to go and install the element art so we have we have to close all the things and click on the add new so to search for elementor and i will say that it is one of the best best page builder in the world no one can compete the elementor because it provides so many things at that cannot be provided by any developer or any company but if i suggest that if you can go with the pro version i highly recommend go with the pro version and because it provides so many stuffs like you can make your website for the top notch okay so the free version is also good but there is the some things features are very missing so i will recommend that you go for the pro version okay once the activate we click on the activate Okay, uh, the pop-up section is here. We on the click cut this here, and here we install the successfully Elementa. Of the installation theme and extra theme, uh, extra starter templates and the Elementa. What you have to do that you have to go on the pages section. There is pre-made. I will delete this. Uh, you have to click on the add new okay okay to click on that and you have to see so many things but we have to scroll down and there is option like okay first we first we do the title like we creating from home we create yeah we give the title home so scroll down and you see the default template but we have to click on the elementor full width because you want the full width and we don't want the extra things okay disable primary is click on this all the things disable footer bar disable featured image disable all the things and customize disable click on the all this, this option and click on publish okay and edit with elementor you know so all the things it's remove and how we can import the template we have to click on this we get all the themes and a pre-made template i am mean, sorry for that or it is a pre-made templates and we have to click on the free version because we don't have the paid version so what i do is let me take this one i will creating the freelancer copywriter okay so there is so many things we import all the things there is a theme there is a template so what we do is import template first we only import this template after that we can uh, create another one so it the template is successfully imported okay we cut this and you can see that all the things is here so hello i am brian on all things stuff like that uh, okay so we have missed the header and footer we will make it later but i want to use some introduction to the element or elements okay so here we can see that there is pro version general and other things so in the free version you get the basic and in the pro version you get all the things like this slider bar html core and so all the things facebook embed okay. uh, and the side site is also locked woocommerce is also locked and wordpress is available because it is a wordpress okay 
the WordPress option is available for here. So what we do is, I will let will explain what what the thing was working. Okay, we'll click here. Okay, let me introduce. So in the basic one, you get the inner section. Okay, there is a heading. We can drop this. You can easily drag and drop and make your website like that. Uh, if you want to make the heading, so we drop here. We can see that the heading is here. You can alignment like center, okay, center, left, right, justified, all the things you can do with, okay. So this is a heading. The second thing is images where we can add, okay. Let me zoom. Here we can see that the image option means you can drag and you can select the image like that. Here you can choose your images and drag and drop and here you can able to publish the images. The next thing we have the text editor. Text editor means you can drag and drop and you can write the paragraph on all the things. Like if I put here we can able to write anything. So hello guys. So what the stuff this is like a stuff you can do this the next thing we have video simply drag and drop and we can choose a choose a video and you can easily good to go and there is a button section if you drag this button you can able to you can see that the the button is available here and you can use the link as you can you can change the small like larger to extra large from the medium and the small and extra small you can do that also things okay so the next thing is a divider we have to click on the this section and we have to click add and we have to select this style and we can add so if we here we can drag and drop and here you can able to do anything like like that okay here we can divide okay yeah, i hope you understand here you can divide the things you can also type the title like any stuff this is the dui okay you can do that the next thing is uh, google maps so what is google map you can simple okay it is google map as you know that we can if we, we see the professional website in the professional website they can able to add maps and how we can do that so let me take this map and drag and drop okay you can give here address and you can able to publish the you can see that so you can able to publish the map on your website so customer can easily can reach with you with the uh, with a google map they click on the direction and so on here the icon box and if you paste here you can get the icon in you can do the link in the icon so you can type anything like as you want here is the icon library if you click on that you can get all the icons and you can import from the other ways so that one important for us the next thing is spacer we can simply drag and drop and create the space between the two columns like that if we create this one and simply you have to give the distance between these two columns so take and drag and drag here and you can give this type of space from here so you can see that you can able to all the customize all the things the next thing in WP forms it is not a free install in the elementor because we have already pre-install plugin that it w forms in our website then it shows so i don't use this wp forms we are using the another forms so avoid that so how we can edit the template all the things like the stuff like changing the colors changing the fonts and all the things so how we can do that so here we can see that there is a pencil icon on this box so we are click on that here you can able to change this title like I will type that this is the title okay and 
if somebody want to make smaller i will click here and if somebody wants to make extra large i will click here and extra extra large then click here e after that you can give the title that h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 you can simply give that so we have the h1 title so after that after that you go to style for the changing color you have to go on the style section you have to click or you can see that the text color is uh, blue so we turn into the red uh, red red okay and typography so if we click here and there is a fa family in the family the roboto means it is the font type of this title so if we add this like opens it, it is a type of font you can see that is change and here we can get the size option means you can able to increase and decrease the size of a title okay here we can get all one option interesting that is a weight you can able to increase and decrease a weight of the title like if we i select 200 you can see that it's make smaller if we take the 600 the title is make bolder okay so you can do that all the things so the next section is a text shadow so you can able to view the shadow from you can click on this and you can able to do the shadow if i select this one and uh, okay i will give the black color and select this and let me try out it's happen or not you can able to see or not but i mean can easy you can see that the shadow is having from the behind the the title and you can able to control here the opacity you can also come you are also able to control the color that you want you want to have the red color shadow then you click here and you can able to do from the here opacity you can control the opacity all the all the things you here if you get the blue color and you press the high and after that the opacity click on the full you can see that the background shadow is a blue color type so on so here you can able to shadow all the things of the title okay the next is the add-on section i will personally recommend that if you are the newbies so don't use this and after that the you are use pretty able to use the element also you have to use that because it's so many complicated and you can't understand so i don't recommend that to use this thing because you are newbies and you are beginners after you are mediator so you can use that and it is very technical for understanding for the beginners so i will not recommend that for you the next is motion effect you can able to add the motion effect there is a background section here you can get all the things and here the border section and here the positioning means you can uh, drag and draw you can uh, put the all the th as you want the things from the here okay the responsive it can the if you want to hide this option on the mobile or tablet mode on the desktop mode you can do it from the heat you can do it from here there the attributes it's a go pro version and this is also pro version we can do that With the custom css we can make the title in a gradient color that we can only do that if we have the pro version if we don't have the pro version so we can't do that as we can see that the we have made the home home page and as we click on the view button as you can see that the do the home is not available on the home page you can see that the airportal.com forward slash home slash uh, forward slash home then it appear but if we let me let me cut this all and open the you can see that there is nothing is here okay so how we can import this template from there so we have to go on the admin panel and 
you have to scroll down and in the click on the setting button and after you have to go on the reading mode and here you can see that a static page okay we have to click on that and select the page that we have made it that is a home you have to scroll down and click on the save changes now we can able to see the we click refresh so it's not appear something was happen you have to click on the customize you have to click on the sidebar because the sidebar is not need for us and default pages no sidebar okay we have to click on the this also no sidebar archives we are in the archives we have to click the no sidebar okay select the all the things to no and we have to back and we click on the publish so what was happen if i open this it's okay as you can see that the successfully all the template is imported and the you can uh, able to drag and drop all the things and we make the page at the home page okay and this is a static page and if someone can if we go to the so you can see that it is redirect to the home page so that is a nice thing for us so we are missing two things that is a footer and header so how to make that so here we can get the edit with elementor we have to click on that sorry before the creating the section we have to create the menus so what we have to do that we have to come on the wp admin panel and here you can get the menu section we have to click on that a uh, menu name that we consider we give the main menu you have to create on menu and here you can see that the location is a primary footer menu okay there is option but we don't click on that we click on the create menu here we can see that okay post categories okay there is already section category but we don't add the category we have to add the pages like so we are not so menu so we are not so after that we not made a pages for about page uh, about and contact us pages so we have to go on the dashboard on the pages section we have to click here to add new and click here about and we click here and before the publishing all the things we have to scroll down and we have to click the elementor full width customer sidebar no sidebar full stretch and disable and disable the this option and you have to disable all the things you you don't have to disable all the things you have to disable the transparent header okay we have to publish schedule no we not have to schedule it we have to publish okay click on publish now we can edit with elementor okay so we can we can create a like a free contact us pages from let me see that if this okay there is option like sorry we have about a space so what we do is we add the this template like work because of our the template is impl imported but we don't have to if you have to edit you can can able to edit all the things so we do not edit that and we click on the update update 
so after that we go to the admin panel okay if we refresh that as you can see that the we got the about page so after that we have to go on the appearance section and the menus and if we view all if you can see that we have the got the pages like home and about okay we click these two pages and we click to add to menu okay these page are available on the menu section it is we are creating the header and footer so for the header and footer i am using the elementor pro uh, because it is very easy to build the header and footer and i will highly recommend with the go with the elementor pro that helps to make the header okay so for the elementor uh, header you have to click on this the template and you have to click on the theme builder okay then here is the section that uh, header we have to click on that you have to add a new header you have to click you have to select the header as we can see that we can choose anything like header footer or so much but we give give the name like uh, header header one i will give the name header one okay create templates so here we can see that there's so many temp available here i i would like this one i will insert it so we can see that we have successfully input this but uh, we have to click on that and delete all and so instead of the putting the navigation bar uh, you can also one thing do that that i will do like title so the first thing is um, navigation okay title is begin and you have to select the main menu as you selected So so as we can see that it is successfully import uh, so we add to nav bar here we are click on that and icon box icon list okay you have to click and drag and drop okay all the things is in line and we have to in line also okay and after that you have to go to the style alignment on the center as you want you as you you can you can do it so i will name this is a home okay and click on the icon library and you can search for home click here insert here okay done after that we go to the second list that is about we name the about and about uh, i will say user yeah that is a uh, good for i will say about and we don't have the contact page so we don't made it so we click cut here and after that uh, so if you want to change the color of this icon let me say if you want to change this icon color so you have to go on the style section there is two options you can see that there is an icon and there is text so we have to change the text color so we have to click on that and choose the white because it's look very beautiful in the white you have to increase the size okay we have to increase little bit okay done 
so uh, after that you have to uh, click on the text and you have to select the so in white color as you want you can also you can select the font type i will I click on that typography and you can change the font here i will change in poppins i like this so little bit okay done once this thing is done you can i i want okay i will align for the here okay and and you say then what to do there is no link here so if you add to link of home page and about so what you have to do is you have to came on the elementor content section and you have to click on the home button and scroll down here you can see that after the icon you can see that there is a link and we have to paste the home we type home you can see that the page is coming you have to click on that after that the about you have to click on the about uh, and you have to add the line like that about let's say about is coming we will click on that we click on the update so once you've done this you got a, a, a pop up window like where you want to display the header so you have to choose the entire site and you have to click the ok so the header is and the header is available for all the i mean say pages or footer uh, all the pages or post so you have to remember that you have to let us check us if the as you can see that is successfully imported and i will say that it is a little bit gap there is no gap in between there so okay home is important about if you click on about so as we can see that it is successfully working fine well but there is some space we have to view this both section so what we do is so we back so we edit on to elementor and close this the side like edit section you have to click on that you have to set the margin like the top will be unlink that top will be okay as you can see that we give the margin but it's a little bit okay 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 all the th things is did i will say click on the pub update and let us check if the done what we done update is happen or not as you can see that the everything has been imported and you can see a sticky bar means if you scroll one from top to bottom it's stick on the your page okay so the as we done the header so what about the foot footer let me do this also so another you have to do is you have to go on the template and you have to add the theme builder you have to okay we have to not leave you have to first save this thing you have to go in the template and in the theme builder once we go here we option the footer we have to click on that and add a new footer we have to name footer v1 and create template okay there is so many option we get for free footer but i will add what is suitable for us that is looking that is also both are good but i will add this click on the insert and let me as you know that it is uh, not available for all for the free version it is available for paid version so you can customize all the things like stuff and all the things as you want okay so after that as you can done the all the customization as you want like suppose you have to you delete this
okay here you, you can simply you can simply okay all the things that we done so we cut the, all the things and we make Twitter like home about us okay so once again we we can take the icon list and paste okay paste here and we make the center alignment sorry the center alignment go to here and center align and go to content once again we have the home section we have to icon library we have to choose the home you have to click on that click on insert okay you have to click on the home click here after that we have the second option like uh, as we do previously like about okay we have to link the about uh, up about click on about so to cut this and we have to enter a user that is pretty much good for looking and now we can do that click on the icon we have to increase the icon size and white and the uh, text also we gonna use the white one okay we have to increase the tab probably so we don't that is too much bigger okay once the done is you can add the so many things like location and you can add the so many things location and stuff like that but here we can or we can add bus so we can add home and about that in that pretty much for this one we click on publish and here you can get where you want to add your template view add a condition and you have to click on the entire site okay and you have to click save and close so let me check out if working or not so if you scroll down let me check out so you can as can as you can see that the home the footer is also imported so if you click on about you can see that is easily go to on the on the about page here we can get the very beautiful pre-made pre-made illustration so you can easily can download and use to your website and it's make very beautiful so there are so many choices here you can click on that and you can choose the color as you want if i like the red color you can see that all the things is appear here so i will recommend that you visit this and there is so many but uh, i like this one and it is a pretty much good data it have website so i will recommend that if you want to the use the free illustration so visit that the second website that we have to visit that is a freepick.com and it is a very most open source vector and stock photos website where you can get the most of the pictures are the vectors and the photos are for free you can easily can download from the two version if you click on this one okay then you can able to download this one into two formats like psd and png so you can download and use in your website and that is my recommendation the next one that we how to increase over time that also the flat icon so if you don't know the flat icon is the icon library so the flat icon is collaborated with the free pick so you can see that there are so many beautiful pre-made icons we got for free you are able to download and all the things stuff you we you can do that plugin that we have it's it is a updraft plus it is a backup plugin and i will say that you can see that it is a 3 million plus active installation then we can know that 
it is a best plugin that we have used for the backups so you can take backups and all the things stuff like that and you can also upload your backup on google drive so it features a lot at the free version paid version is also good but in the free version you get the most of the things the next in our list is a rank math it is i will say it is better than the used to you at the free version okay so in the next plugin that we are talking about it is a i theme security and it is a security plugin that helps to secure your site from the hackers on the all the stuff like that so please install this plugin and it is very mandatory if you use the wordpress site because you know that the hacking is very high chances in the wordpress and you can't leave a loopholes can hacker can enter your website and you <laughs> destroy your all the things so i will recommend that so which are the first plugin in our list the smush dot kit it is image optimization please if you don't use it please install and use it because it provide it will compress the file because as you know that if you uh, if you upload any post and other stuff like that you know that the images are the main mandatory problem that it's uh, lags or delay for loading